Okay, for yours, I'm gonna give this table cup a bit of a restore. Give it a polish, clean it up, polish it up. That's gonna go on with BAZ. And then it'll be complete and original. Okay, I've got a bit of a good clean, nice wet sponge and scrubbed it, polished it with a rag, and came up nice. Kind of got the same texture as the email of them two has. Looks good. Alright, that's all done. Plug safety first, that's been done. Let's take it off and put a new one on. Put this little bloody, um, I had another terminal cover off a lattice and got a time switch, which the one extra. I didn't have any use for it, didn't fit any of the other meters, I didn't have any cut terminal cover, so I took this bolt off that cover and put it on this terminal cover. This made it look like it was all good. Got the uh, acquisition date and the uh, test results and everything in here, I just put them into this one. Just got the accuracy test record and everything in it. it had 7137.9 kilowatt hours when I got it. Now it's got 71. Four, eight, point seven. Still a couple of um, got a fair bit of use in that so far. Let's take that off. It's going to go in here. Slide this. One. There you go. And it's former glory. Beautiful. Original terminal cover for the BAZ. Sweet. It's got a bag tie on there, just so it gives it that anti-tamper um seal look appeal to it. Alright, I'm always gonna move on to my next meter. Which is this one. Siemens. Model D12 or top D12. Let's get that one up and go. That's a uh, so three phase, three times two thirty, four hundred volt, twenty amp pair. One hundred and twenty revs per kilowatt hour. Property FCC number thirty-eight. So 1938, this one was made, North East Victoria. So it's a 1938 Siemens. Right, let's uh, wire it up. Okay, if you it's all wired up, three phase hooked up on a single phase, active in, jumps active in, active in, jumps active in, on a third potential coil, active out, consider that one, active out, active out, active out, neutral in, for the potential coil and neutral out through all the low coils. All right, let's hook it up and she'll turn over. 82,034 kilowatt hours. All right. Okay, it's on. Kind of a fair bit of rattling in there. This bit is another old rattler. It is earthed. Safety first. Metal case must be earthed. Power on. There you go. The wheel is moving. Let that four get nice and straight. And I would say this meter would still be accurate. Siemens German made, so bloody well made this one. Power off. Stops pretty good. Little bit of creep there. Okay, unplug safety first. Let's take the cover off and have a look at the mechanics. Yeah, a little tag on there. 21858900. Alright, take that cover off. And that's the earthing point. There's a bolt that goes through there. Cable goes down to the main earthing point in the um, switchboard. Okay, for yours, it's on. It's just still earth. Safety first. Better rattling this one. And right there is our anti-creep lined up with a potential coil and that wheel is not moving see there you go that's magnetically attracted and holding it in position stopping that wheel from moving bit noisy it's got these little wires going here which go down to your uh... so I've got two parts of the low coils this is interesting how they made um, set this meter up and made it there's our brake magnet Kind of looks like a Lannis and Gaia brake magnet. The um, uh, mica driver gear there, which meshes onto our worm drive on our driver shaft on the load wheel um, assembly. 
There's a keys behind there. Metal Geneva's. If I can get the camera to pick it up. No, the camera won't go that far. There we are. Metal Geneva's, not plastic. Oh, metal gear train. Little screws and grub screws holding everything, everything, everything together. There's wires. It's interesting how they set it up like this, though. So that's probably live because they're all separately, uh, from what I can see, they're separately insulated. So they've got power going through there and there. Interesting. So there's your, this is being a 20 amp meter, so we've got probably 10 amp through there. There, it's divided between those three load coils. There's other coils here, though. Interesting. And they go to the body of the meter, bolted around the potential coils. And that uh, can't be bolted straight to the chassis because that will just leak to earth. Interesting how that works. That's for some magnetic um, flux or something or lag or something like that. Alright, power on. Yes. Bit noisy this one. But the load reel is perfectly essential. Uh, actually, no, it's, oh, no, it's not. It's a bit low on the brake magnet there. Not by much, though. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. I may have to just touch it up a tiny bit in that load bearing there, the jaw bearing. The tiniest bit of uh, adjustment, I reckon it needs. That should quieten down the rattling. It is from 1938, so it's a pretty old meter. That's a 10 amp pair, which is actually pulling more than 10 amp pair. So the bloody Chinese like to um, underrate these. Look at the BAZ move. Okay, power off. Let's move a little bit. Alright, power off. Unplug safety first. Anti creep was lined up. I stopped it at the right position. And there you go. It's got a just ordinary aluminium load wheels. Not polished up, not fancy looking. So very carefully. That's not too bad. Ah, not much movement in there at all. Alright, let's do a cosmetic restoration on it. 4939D. Here for those of you who are interested, before I get on the, um, doing a clean up, i take taking this front uh, fascia off, just two screws. Now let's have a good look at the um, gearing. And aluminium um, uh, number wheels. Like a bottle top, they're pressed out. There's a gear, there's our Geneva's there. There's that gear there. Very well made German quality. A little gear in there. That child on there, that marker, that main drive from the worm drive there goes on to here. And that drives on here, and this one. So I attach on this shaft, which is a little gear on that brass, not there. And that shaft drives this gear, which drives this number wheel. And that has a little, yeah, and that drives all the other number wheels. Interesting. There's a little bit that catches on. Little notch in there. That'll catch on and zero off the next number. Then Geneva catches under that little notch in there. Pretty simple. There's your adjustments. There's all your connections. Alright, time to put it back together and do a cosmetic cleanup on it. Oh, kitty. Hey, you come for a visit, eh? Oh. Oh, you're nice and warm. 
actually nice and warm, aren't you? Oh, wet nose, the big eyes, they're cute. You do want a job, cat? You catch some mice? Good kitty. Okay, viewers, I want to step on his tail there. Good cat. It's all polished, I didn't use any methylene spirits or anything. There's a bit of crap inside the glass there. It came up well, I got most of the um, heavy dust off it, off the outside of it. So I might as well uh, get some methylene spirits and polish that window up. Get it looking real nice. Relatively clean, there's a the back of the meter. So everything clamped there. Huh, it's actually copper, there you go. Hey! You just try to piss there, huh? You're not pissing here, cat. Hey, hey, here. Little kitty. Okay, viewers. She came up quite well. Nice and clean. Looks better. There you go. Siemens type D12. That must be a patent number. 50 socks per second. 30 times 2, 3400 volts. 20 amps. 50 cycles per second, 120 revs a disc per kilowatt hour. Alright, let's hook up another load to it. Okay, if yours is starting on some cleaning up, bit of dust and gunk on the floor here, bits of uh, crap on the workbench on the meters. Turn his vacuum cleaner on. In a rush. <laughs> Fifteen amp in like a six hundred watt motor. That's pulling about three amps there. A bloody rain today. Water leaking here. And bloody water log my um, nearly nearly water log my Celestion. Uh, Disney fifteen. And lucky I caught it in time. Got to fix that leak in that window. It's spinning quite well on a 600 watt load. It's just on spinning on that load. Pick up some more dust, and you can watch the meter spin while I clean. And power off. And that's about where the anti creep bomb device is, and it should stop there and not move. Come to a dead stop. There you go. Anti creep definitely works. Alright, that's just made it all nice and clean. Thanks for watching.